set up the laptop, but I'm gonna clear the codes. Right now, my car has a code P0300. Gonna go ahead and erase. That should be done. So I'm just gonna go ahead and drive around town. Now we're also gonna be hooking up my MPV i3. the check engine light earlier when I left from work and within five minutes it went back on and mind you I was doing oh my god I have smoke coming from my catch can now damn you guys see that I'm just gonna record until I know it happened I know it happened out of the catch can later all right guys i got the compression tester from autozone it is literally just that you know this would go on there screw into the, the spark plug hole that's just an adapter if you need it but yeah oh. Mellow for sure well it's time for diagnostics and swapping things over We have the spark plugs out, which you guys can see in order. I'm gonna show you guys real quick. That's the white porcelain right there. Number two has a little bit of orange going on. Nothing crazy. You got cylinder number three, porcelain looks good. And then you got cylinder four with some orange and going on not sure exactly why like you see it here is exactly how i pulled it out that would be cylinder one cylinder two cylinder three and cylinder four i have a autozone rental compression tester it is literally just that right here already hooked up in the cylinder one i have the four ngk spark plugs out the coil and the wires along with my asd out of my wire tuck so on here, ASD is right there. The other day I bought Mopar coil pack and the Greta Telly wires, a replacement of the original and the replacement coil pack, which you guys can see on the back is the Mopar emblem. Here you guys can see, this is my Skittle Fabs coil pack kit. Seven variants of choices on my website, shopskittlefabs.com. It comes with four bolt allen heads, four dowel spacers, and we got the coil pack cover. Like I said, seven variants. Pretty much gonna be doing this along with the spacers. I'm just letting my engine cool down and go ahead and take off the Johnny Boost cowl that I put on. That's just super dope. usually looks before I put the cowl on. Today's video is me having to do a compression test on my cylinder head. I've never performed one personally, so I've never had to. Uh, I've had just indicators that like y'all I'm blowing smoke. And in this aspect, yes, I am blowing smoke, but I got a previously rebuilt engine. But let me just fill you guys in real quick. When I went ahead and picked my Neon up from Diaz, I drove to Caesar shop. Him and I went ahead and dropped the tank four or five times because every time we dropped it, we, had, we something went on. We were trying to modify it to work properly to get me home. There was a point where uh, a hose was just cut too short and we were just rushing. It was hot out. He wanted to go home. I wanted to go home. I needed to hit the road. I had like a five hour drive and I just wanted to make sure 
I was good to go. I was driving and I had roughly three hours left. I actually have video footage of that. I felt like I lost fuel pressure. You know, it's a good solid ride so far other than a couple hiccups. I don't know if it's my fuel pump cutting out during acceleration after 3000 RPM or it's my IAC, my throttle position sensor or even my cam sensor. I made a little bit of video content and then when I got home I started talking to my tuner, Chris Zelinski, which is player three performance on instagram if you guys don't know him go check his instagram out he's a really smart dude he's tuned a lot of guys that actually follow me here on instagram youtube tiktok all that stuff so you know um he's he's tuned my neon on the past anyways talked to chris and chris was like check your fuel pressure came over here it was over that line right there right over that line where it should be up here so that indicated right off the rip i have to stop driving and i have to go ahead and check the fuel pump i pulled out the canister and right as i pulled out that ring and pulled the canister out of the gas tank i realized the hose popped off it's not even my fuel pump it's the fuel line and going to the feed basically this hose came from the top of your fuel pump to the back side of the canister bulkhead through the bulkhead feed line to the rail i lost fuel pressure i had three hours to drive still so with that being said my car pulled a p0171 code indicating that the o2 sensor isn't reading anything so it dumped fuel into my engine i don't really beat on my car normally and when this all happened i obviously was very cautious of driving it but when it came to hills and climbing them i had the downshift and give it gas and clearly the line coming off the fuel pump going to the canister bulkhead fit in and fit in it popped off so i was only getting five pounds of pressure going to my fuel rail i'm assuming my rings are toast but a compression test and a leak down test will actually tell so we will see what happens and what we find out we're actually gonna check to see what the temperature reads all right it didn't go up i'm just gonna wait 10 more minutes and then i'm gonna go ahead and crank the car over three times because i've already taken out my asd i've taken out the spark plugs i've disconnected the coil pack and the wires so there's nothing going on that will actually send fuel to the rail all that stuff so We're gonna go ahead and crank her over real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and mount my camera so you guys can watch it crank over and build up pressure per cylinder. All right, we have 150. Just gonna go ahead and release that. just a lunder 150 all right now we're gonna do piston number three i had to just go ahead and double check on cylinder number one because i didn't take a picture but it did take a picture of number two i gotta make sure i do that after every single cylinder that i do just to make sure i have video and pictures even though i can go back to video just always take pictures before you take something apart while it's taken apart and then put it back together with the past photos that you used to take it apart or you know so have you have reference all right this is cylinder number three we have looks like 130. now we got cylinder number four And we have 130. 
now that the compression test is done i'm gonna go ahead and change the oil over to vr1 i swapped over to some other brand that i've never used before it's called dello 15w40 heavy duty diesel engine oil so this may be the cause of it i'm not 100 percent i'm still gonna go ahead and change it over i'm gonna drain the the filter and reuse the filter which i'm i normally don't do shit like that with you guys but i think this time i'm gonna and swap out the filter probably within like 500 miles or less than that just just because and go from there and then the next change i'll go ahead and do a new wix oil filter and that vr1 but i'm hoping that this fixes the issue and i I don't know you guys, I just, why am I smoking so early? Now was, is it the valve seals? Is it the rings? Is it the actual turbo having a friggin' crap out on me again? I'm not sure you guys. That's why I, I appreciate everybody that has been reaching out to me and trying to help me figure this issue out. Um, especially with the the misfire code, the P0171, uh, the P0300, P0301, <laughs> there's so many codes. And there's another couple codes that I actually had on the way home from SoCal when the fuel pump line popped off. So check it out.